Uh, in 2013, the, spring, the Springboks finished with a played 12 war, and, and won 10 record, losing only to the All Blacks. Um, for your, in your opinion, are they on the right track for a better world uh, record in next year? I think so. Um, they're definitely on the right track uh, with regards to the way they, they play um, because they can actually adapt to a different style of game now as well. I've noticed that um, if they want to, they can play expensive record, but if they think they can control a game with more physical presence like we always have done in the past few years, uh, we can do that easily. We can, um, but uh, and the mixture we've got now is also good because we have a mixture of experience and young players, and the experienced players that we have can still play for the next uh, until the next World Cup. And uh, the young players will then be more experienced by the time we get to the next World Cup, and that's the one thing that Heineke Meyer has done very, very well uh, to get a team together in, in that way. And it's a good thing that you brought the coach up because do you think Heineke Meyer is the right man to lead uh, the Springboks to the 2015 World Cup glory? Look, for the last two years, he has proven that he can do the job. And uh, who are we to argue the point that he has, I mean, he has played 12 games, he won 10 out of it, and only lost against New Zealand. So um, maybe that's the one thing we need to just work on is how, how can we manipulate uh, New Zealand to beat them eventually in the Rugby World Cup. Maybe we make them feel good now until, they, until the Rugby World Cup and we have a strategy in place for them when we come to the Rugby World Cup final. And what are your thoughts on actually like picking overseas uh, players for the green and gold instead of just sticking to, you know, the respective players who've been faithful to their provinces? You know, it's twofold if you think about it. You know, it's a professional game and uh, everybody's got a right to go and play wherever they want to and still represent this country. Like in any football, like soccer games, they do that. Uh, in, uh, in cricket, they do it. Um, I, I would say, why can't you do it in rugby? Unfortunately for us, we have so many talent, talent here that um, we become become more uh, emotional about selecting the players at home and uh, eventually what, what is more important is it, uh, um, is it winning the Rugby World Cup or are you getting people opportunity to play or players opportunity to play for the country and, and the best players not, is they available but they can't play for the country. So that's one thing we need to look at because uh, you want to win games and your country needs to be up there in the top uh, when the results come. Okay and let's speak about next year's Super Rugby. Right now, because the Bulls have lost so many of their players, it just seems like a two-man um, two race between uh, the Stormers and the Sharks. Your thoughts? I would say, you know, don't write the Bulls off, you know, because uh, I know that the Bulls, is, uh, uh, the, uh, the, this, this season they've been building a team, but most of the players also played for the Springbok team. And I still believe that the Bulls will be competitive next year. Um, the, the Western Province team is going to be very strong next year because they had a young team. Uh, for the last two years and now that two, that two years actually made us players now very experienced uh, enough to play in, this, in, this, in the Super Rugby matches and the Sox has proven that they are actually a, a, a force to deal, to deal with and, uh, um, and Jake White with, the, with his influence there in, in the Sox is going to be a massive, massive for South African rugby. And you've just returned from international coaching, just take us through that. Yes, I've been in Romania and I coach a, a club a club team there, which is a provincial team. Um, they haven't won the super, they haven't won the Challenge Cup for uh, for 40 years, and and then I got there last year and they won it for the first time, and this year I won it again. Um, so it was a great experience for me as a coach, and um, I was hoping that we would go and play the Challenge Cup uh, next year, but unfortunately not. They they couldn't qualify. Uh, due to the fact that uh, the IRB chose um, the Spanish club to, or team to go and play in the Challenge Cup. And that's probably the main reason why I came back because I need to grow uh, into my position where I am and unfortunately um, there was no deem for me to go uh, and play in the Challenge Cup. But I must say the experience that I've picked up there the, it was amazing. Um, it's just the way that it, it taught me how to deal with uh, with people and bring them together from different uh, nationalities. Because uh, I had Tongan, I had uh, South Africans, I had New Zealanders, and I had Samoans. I had uh, um, Georgian and obviously the Romanian players that I had to bring together as a family to ensure that they can play as a family and win rugby games. And what can people expect from you in South Africa? Have, uh, should they be looking out for any coaching stuff that you'll be doing in the country? Yes, I'm definitely going to get involved, uh, involved with, uh, with the club team in, the, in, in Cape Town for, for the meantime. I'm going to consult with the club and, uh, and then hopefully I get an opportunity to, to get a, a, 
prevent uh, province to coach or, or even if I have to go back on abroad I will do that because that's all learning and understanding the game because you can never um, and you can never know everything of, of rugby you learn every single day, day with, when you're involved with it but it's important that you continue continue yourself being involved with uh, the game itself and like what's currently keeping you busy at the, at the moment and how's the golf handicap looking Look, it's uh, it's holidays now, so I'm uh, there's no rugby involved, but uh, I'm busy with a few business plans that I'm talking with people, and hopefully those things will come up and uh, come up. And but uh, as I said, my love for rugby is still there, and um, and I will involve, be involved with the club team next year, uh, consulting. Um, but for this month, I just want to uh, spend some time with the family because for two years I haven't had um, quality time with them, and uh, so hopefully I get this next two weeks going on holidays with my wife and my kids and then have a good time with them and when we're back, it's back into rugby and back into work again. Thank you so much for joining us, Chester. Thank you very much.